Good afternoon, this is Rob from GRAF. And today we're going to continue our talks on the theme of dairy farming by discussing the subject of lameness and giving a brief overview of that. Let's get the PowerPoint going. So lameness in dairy cattle, it is one issue that is often overlooked and can cost a dairy farm an awful lot of money. There are many costs caused by lameness, but the first key one that everyone thinks of is of course milk yield. A severe case of lameness in a dairy cow can cause up to 20% reduction in peak yield. And as we know, the total lactation yield of a dairy cow is based on the peak yield from which the weekly yield falls at a known rate. So if you don't get your peak yield, you're not gonna get the total lactation yield. Other costs, apart from reduced milk yield, are the culling costs. Severe cases of lameness can result in you culling the cow. This can be down to the lameness itself or another major cost, fertility. If your cow is lame and uh, is suffering badly, the chance of getting it back in calf are very low and as a result, you can end up culling it. Then there's the actual costs of treating the case of lameness itself, perhaps medicines and the milk that has to be dumped if the cows are being given antibiotics. The labor costs of treating them, the vet costs and other costs are much lower, but are still a significant factor. Various figures are used, but it is suggested that a case of lameness can cost you up to 300 pounds a cow. So it can be quite a significant cost. Where does lameness happen? Well, the first place is when the cows are going out grazing. When you look at the weight distribution on a cow, 55 to 60% of the total weight is on the front two feet. That's because you've got a big neck and head hanging out the front. Only 40 to 45% of the weight is on the cow's back feet. But if you take a 700 kilo cow, you can end up with 140, 150, even 200 kilos being uh, put down onto each foot. That's the equivalent of you standing on one foot on your tiptoes. So it can be a very high pressure. So as the cows are walking to and from the, uh, the milking parlor and the paddock or the grassland, you have to be very careful about the surface of the track they're walking on. But more importantly, is how you actually drive the cows. You have to let the cows walk at their own speed, find their own social order. That gives them time to look at where they're placing their feet. If you try and rush the cows or disturb their order and they start fighting or stopping or slowing down or speeding up, then they can lose the ability to see where they're placing their feet and stand in those loose stones and cause injury, mechanical injury to their feet. Nutrition can also be another major cause of lameness. The key thing in this diagram is right at the top, rumen acidosis. If you've got the too low a level of fiber in your diet or the wrong fiber to concentrate ratio, you can end up with acidosis, which causes laminitis and eventually lameness in your cows. So nutritional causes can be a big problem. When the cows are being housed, there are many areas for limbs being caused. First of all, hygiene issues. If the cows are standing in their own slurry and their own effluent, you can end up with interdigital dermatitis, silage he, um, various other uh, infection-based lameness causes. On concrete, uneven concrete or new concrete, which is too rough, you can end up wearing the feet faster and then making them more prone to stone injuries. Cubicle size, we discussed that before. If the cows are not lying comfortably in their cubicles and they spend more time standing, they're more likely to get lameness. And one way to solve all these issues when cows are being housed is by use of rubber flooring. Rubber flooring is nice and soft for the cows to walk on, but it also means any stones they stand on will give into the flooring rather than cause a mechanical injury to their foot. Finally, one thing you can do is start off managing your lameness by locomotion scoring. There are various locomotion scoring systems with various scales. A common one starts at one for a cow that's walking perfectly with absolutely no signs of lameness, right up to number five, where the cow is absolutely chronically lame and is at risk of being culled. 
if you start low commotion score your cows, you can figure out how bad a problem you have, if you have a problem. And then you can start to address it by looking at what's causing the issue. Is it an infection issue? Is it a nutrition issue? Is it mechanical injury? What is the source of the problem? And then that allows you to manage it and uh, reduce the lameness cost to your dairy farm. Any questions on this, any more detail, drop me a line or send a message on LinkedIn. Thanks for now, bye.